Welcome to lecture 5. In this video, you will learn the basics of Dunfo.js by loading the contents of our data dictionary into a data frame. So what is a data frame? A data frame is what Dunfo.js calls a table of data. So in our case, it will eventually be the whole list of sensor data in time. Dunfo.js also uses series. A series is a column of data in your data frame. So for instance, this could be the air temperature. In code, we can create a new series by typing new dfd.series and then giving it a list of numbers, your sensor data for instance. In this case, two, four, six, and eight. We then use the print function on this new object that we have, S, the series, to print a nice table in our console. In a similar way, you can create a whole data frame at once by typing new dfd.dataframe and then giving it a list of rows of data. So in this case, we have a list of lists. So the first row of data is 2, 4, 6, 8. Then we have a row 3, 6, 9, 12. And then we have a row of data 4, 8, 12, and 16. This returns our data frame in the variable df. And again, we can use the print method on the df variable to show a nicely looking table in our console. Now in our main JS file, we do something similar. We create a new data frame, but now give it the contents of our data dictionary, which is stored in the variable fields, and log this to our console. And again, we can use the print function to create a nice table in our console. But of course, we don't want the data to be shown just in the console, we want to show it on our web page. In the main.js file, we now call the plotting method on our data frame. We give it an element of our HTML file to plot the table in, and we indicate with the method table that we want to, in fact, show a table. We supply it with a configuration object which contains all kinds of styling options to make our table look more pretty. If we now open the website, we see the following nice table appear, containing all the metadata of our data dictionary. In the next video, we will start working with actual sensor data.